To all who come to this happy place, welcome. We are taking on a cross-country ride challenge from Disney World to Disneyland in one day. Can we do it? Today my goal is to complete every Disneyland opening day attraction, the original Disney rides in the original Disney park, and their equivalent over here in Disney World. And yeah, in the middle of the day, that means we have a flight across the country as we make our way to the biggest Disney news event of the entire year. It's bright, it's early, park officially opens in two minutes, and there's a little bit of Halloween, and we're gonna stop in. We are about to kill it! We're gonna have such an exciting day. This is one of, I think, the most fun things we've done as far as a cross-country challenge goes, because I'm just excited, and then look at that, a pumpkin. And yeah, it's August, but hey, that's Disney World. There are some things we're gonna have to do here on Main Street that we're gonna come back for. Um, hopefully, I don't see the horse-drawn trolley out just yet, but there they go, there he comes. Um, he's about to come out of the car barn. But the thing that I'm going to head to first is actually the Jungle Cruise, because the Jungle Cruise was actually an opening day attraction over at Disneyland. It was one that Walt personally helped with, which, yeah, I'm probably gonna cry when we get on the Main Street vehicles later tonight in Disneyland, which I'm so excited about. Nothing sets my soul aflame the way that Disneyland does, but we're starting with Jungle Cruise because that should really be our only significant wait this morning. I'm hoping. Now the park formally opened three minutes ago. This might be a pretty big difference in how long we're gonna wait for the Jungle Cruise, but again, hopefully, this is the only thing that might be a little, little bit of a wait for us, but we're here early enough. We're still within the rope drop time, so it should be totally fine. I'm currently riding solo this morning, but I'll be joined by our favorite ride head momentarily, because I'll tell you, she's the doctor. So oh, she could make it this morning, but we'll see her this afternoon probably in Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, Jungle Cruise is a classic Disney attraction. Please be open. Why are there so many skippers outside? Oh, boats are running. Okay. I got nervous. I was about to start sweating. I was like, please don't do this this early. Jungle Cruise though, really fun boat ride. Takes you through the jungles, of course. It's about a three week journey. So hope y'all are ready. Um, this is a three week challenge now. And then of course we're gonna have to get to California and then do another three week journey, so it's fine. a little bit uh, because Main Street vehicles don't run all day. They should be running the whole time we're here, but I don't really want to risk it. And we've got a few things that we can do up that way as well. I see a lot of blueberries. Um, blueberries is what sometimes cast members will call the character attendants because they're blue shirts. So let's see, maybe I can hop on. I don't know if anyone else is over here. <laughs> blueberries might just be hanging out, you know? So let's see if I can hop onto this horse-drawn trolley and let it take me to our next stop. Okay, I'm so excited that I sat down because Gail just told me the Titan, our horse, uh, is driving the Dapper Dance after this ride, so. So glad I got him. Well, I did. I just think that's that's probably I love that Main Street vehicle here in Magic Kingdom that one is my favorite it feels like the best most classic one in my opinion um, but over in Disneyland my favorite of course is the fire truck the fire engine next up on our list though is what would really be the Main Street cinema so it's a little bit different because um, it's not really a cinema 
not here at least. Main Street Cinema here in Disney World is a store. Uh, in Disneyland, it's actually a little cinnamon. You can kind of go in, you can hang out, watch some Mickey Mouse cartoons. But here, it used to play uh, shows, I believe, but now it is mainly operating as a store. But you can kind of still watch some clips if you're curious. That's where you're gonna find a lot of ears, a lot of hats, some really cute merchandise. And then in the back, you can see some clips. This is the original Country Bears being played. Um, and and that's that's it. You can kind of watch some clips of OG Disney World. There's no way you could make it a cinema if you just stand here. But technically, it's a store. And that's it. That's a check off our list. Now later, we're actually going to watch some cutie little shows. But for now, I'm going to cut through Main Street Confectionery and savor the AC. And the next thing we have to do is the train, because of course, it's one of the opening day attractions over at Disneyland. Walt Disney had a really personal passion about trains, so it's no surprise that it was an opening day attraction and a really important one we're gonna ride over here. This one does a full loop around Magic Kingdom. I think it is so precious. You can actually see things and get different points of view that you probably would not be able to see if you didn't take the train. And plus it's just a nice relaxing break. Looks like I might be missing, oh, I'm not missing this one, okay. Don't worry, on this train it's never goodbye. It's always see you real soon. Friends, I'm so delighted you've joined us today. There's nothing I enjoy more than showing folks around this magic kingdom. Especially because it's certified proof that in these parts, dreams really do come true. We technically do not have to do a full lap. We just rode the train, so we get to hop off and keep on a trucking. But I always recommend doing a full loop. It's just relaxing, it's peaceful, and it's a lot of fun. Um, and if it were not for wanting to make sure we get everything done without having to stress about the airport, because if you guys have seen any of our cross country things, we really stressed about the airport and it doesn't always go well. So I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to get us through this easy breezy um, Ma Maybelline. That's not a Easy Breezy Copper Girl? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get us through this, but always recommend doing a pull up. Next stop is that little beauty right there. The Liberty Bell River Steamboat. This is one of the, another really relaxing rides around Magic Kingdom that if you have the time, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a great place to sit down, but if you're choosing between two relaxing rides, I'd choose the train. This one's cool, but not a necessity, unless again, you've been here a lot, and you've never done it. You absolutely, you know, you should do it absolutely at least once. But for me, if you have never been here, this might be your only time here, wouldn't necessarily recommend the steamboat. Now it doesn't look like it's running just yet, but I guess we're rope dropping it. No, 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 no. It doesn't start for another hour. Okay, that's all right. We've got plenty to do while we wait on the rib, river boat. We'll come back for the river boat. And we'll casually make our way towards like some spinning, a lot of spinning, two spinnings. Now, we're kind of getting it easy right now. I think the stress is gonna come at Disneyland because technically, Peter Pan is an opening day attraction over at Disneyland. Luckily for us, this insanely popular ride here in Magic Kingdom is closed for right now. It's just under refurbishment, nothing serious. Just their normal fixing on the pixie dust. Um, but I say lucky for us because that means we do not have to wait in that long line and we didn't have to stress about what to rope drop. So that was a pretty easy choice, but it means that we're gonna go to Disneyland and we are gonna have to figure that one out. But that's okay because this, again, smooth sailing. This is fine. I've never been nervous in my life. I've never had anxiety and we've never almost not finished a challenge. If you guessed we were doing the Regal Carousel, you were right. This one's very sweet. It's a classic. Uh, this is actually, carousels are real, what really inspired Walt Disney to create Disneyland. So of course it was an opening day attraction uh, and we're going to be enjoying both Prince Charming's and King Arthur's. Pretty big day for us. Okay, I don't really take from anybody, but this purple one looks very cute. And I like purple and I'm wearing purple and I'm sweating through my shirt because Orlando. And also, I glistened, I just glistened. It's fine. Oh no, the girls are going. Are the girls gonna go? Let's see if they do. 
Oh, they're going. The stepsisters. Giselle and Anastasia. I'm so glad I'm not those people. <laughs> okay, I have to, we have to see this. Look at the girl's coat. <laughs> okay, it is not often that you get to see characters like roaming and playing in Magic Kingdom. It's becoming a little bit more apparent, but it's not all that often. That's really more of a Disneyland thing, and we are really here to honor Disneyland's opening day. And so, yeah, I think we have to watch the stepsisters stay on the carousel. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him talking to the king. It's too good. Okay, I'm gonna let them enjoy the rest of their ride, but now we need to keep going. We are in the middle of a challenge. So we are headed to what is my favorite and I plan on doing in every single park around the world if I can help it, um, and that's the teacup. Not helping right now, but a mad tea is closed. If it stays closed while we're here before we leave for the airport, then it's okay. It doesn't count on us. Um, but I'm really hoping it opens soon. Luckily, we're close to another one. Um, but my goodness, the, we're, we're over two when it comes to like getting really excited to do something and then it's closed. Okay, we're doing fine though. The teacups are gonna open because they always open. I'm telling myself. Now we're gonna head on to Tomorrowland Speedway, one of uh, the ones that we really love. We have a great time when we do it. Now, typically I prefer to do it with a friend, but it's okay. We're doing it together this morning, you and me, and we are friends, so it's fine. This one is the equivalent of uh, Atopia over in Disneyland, which of course, I've said this about everything else, but we're gonna do it tonight. Oh, sorry, I couldn't get the camera to start, but we're on the ride. We have a red car, our wheel, just like everyone else's is purple, and my shirt is purple, so you could pretty much say there's signs that we're gonna finish this challenge. Am I making up the signs? Maybe, but uh, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta find the silver linings. And we made it, now I'm driving a car, and I'm filming myself while driving a car, which is probably illegal in many places, but not in Disney World or Disneyland, because Although you're really driving, you don't need a license for this, but if you want one, you can get one right outside. Uh, that's how Reed Love has his license, because if you don't know, he doesn't have a traditional driving license. He has a more modern one uh, from the Tomorrowland Speedway. Now I'm gonna kind of mosey towards teacups. I don't know if they're open. I'm really hoping they are. Um, and then we're, we're really wrapping up. We've got a few things that if we have time, we might do them because they technically are not opening day attractions, but they're in the place of where opening day attractions are. So we're gonna see, we're gonna look into it. Teacups, it's not looking good uh, at present. And I bet some of you are wondering, Emma, why aren't you doing Dumbo? Dumbo is, although very early Disneyland, technically not opening day. Um, I thought this was pretty neat. Dumbo was supposed to be an opening day attraction, but because of different issues, like they had hinges on the ears that were supposed to flap, different things like that. It caused the delay, so it opened literally almost a month. It was like August 16th. So it was just shy of being opening day, but it was opening day, so not on our list. And yep, no, no teacups. So we have three things on our if extra time list, and we are trucking. So we are gonna attempt to do the three things. One of which, in a weird way, is Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is not an opening day attraction. Oh my goodness, that says 40 minutes. You know what, we got time to spare. Um, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh technically is not an opening day attraction, but the one here in Magic Kingdom used to be Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. So that is why it's kind of on our if extra time, because technically not an opening day, but this area is opening day in Disneyland. Mr. Toad, and Mr. Toad is still in Disneyland. So we've got time to kill. It says it's a 40 minute wait, which is not ideal, but we have 35 minutes until Liberty Bell starts running and teacups are closed. And those are the only two things left on our list. So we're just gonna wait here. about 
20 minutes, so literally half of what they said. Uh, but that means, which, uh, Liberty Bell is still not open. So I'm gonna go glance and hope that the teacups are open. I see literally no movement, but that doesn't, no, no, not open. Okay, so that means we're gonna continue on. Two of our extras. The other one is Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Because remember, Winnie the Pooh is not an opening day attraction in Disneyland. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride is. But that is where Mr. Toad's Wild Ride used to be. Now, is there a Disneyland Winnie the Pooh ride now? Yes, there is. Are we getting confused? Yes, we are. It's fine. You, you, the principle is that's where Mr. Toad's used to be. Now, another thing that we are going to do, hopefully, will not take us too, too much time, but we're on a decent track right now. Um, I don't want to get too cocky though, so we're, we're gonna hope, we're hoping for the best. We're gonna go to Princess Fairy Tale Hall because this is actually what replaced Snow White's Adventures. So again, was Princess Fairy Tale Hall an opening day attraction? No, but you know what was? Snow White. Let's see what's shorter. I'd prefer to meet Cinderella and Elena. They both say 15 minutes. We're gonna get inside, see which line is the worst, and get in the other one. On the other side, you can actually meet um, Rapunzel and Tiana. And on this side, typically it's Cinderella and another alternating princess. So it looks like Cinderella's line is technically shortest, but not by much. Hello. Good to see you, today. you too. You look lovely and <laughs> Thank you, you're being very kind. It's nice and warm today, so we've been having lots of adventures inside. <laughs> That's right, yes, yeah. anything indoors, huh? Of course. Very good. Can we take some portraits of together? Course. Hello, how Hello. are you? I'm doing wonderful, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you and so I much. And I noticed your sunglasses on, does that mean the weather's nice today? It's very <laughs> nice and toasty today, oh, so toasty. enjoying all the AC oh, with both of you I'm while so I can. I'm glad you are. You know it's always good when it gets hot out? Oh. A jack -wagon. Oh, you know what a jack is? I don't. No, they're some of the animals in my kingdom. They mm -hmm. actually have their own kingdom too. It's, they have, there's lots of them. Oh, and wow. they're like really big jaguars, like mm -hmm. cats, but they have wings. So oh, so they can fly. fly? Yeah, so then when it gets a little toasty, as you said, mm -hmm. we can go on a ride together, but a fast ride. Oh, that's so really nice. I love that. You should put your hair up next time I climb. I'm actually <laughs> taking a flight today, so I'll try to remember that. I'll oh, put yeah. my hair but up for maybe them. Maybe don't stick your head out. No, I no, 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 just the hair up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just got out. Uh, it's 11 11 to make a wish. And now I'm wishing and hoping and pleading that the teacups will be up and running. I don't know if they will be, but we're, we're going to mosey our way. I'm actually going to check the My Disney Experience app because it is just now, like I said, it's just now 11 11. So that means the ferry boat just opened and it means we only have one extra to do. Now, this is, this is the one that it's like, Really? And the answer is yeah, really. Because the third opening day attraction that was, if we had extra time, that I was going to do is a tribute to Storybook Canals. So this used to be Snow White, Winnie the Pooh used to be Mr. Toad, there's no used to be Storybook. But there's kind of, in, in the space where Storybook would have been, is The Little Mermaid. Now The Little Mermaid used to be the Nautilus, not an opening day attraction, but used to be, and it's, it's not in Disneyland either. Um, so we're really just, we're stretching, okay? It's a stretch, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna walk back that way. We're gonna hop on. And because, so my thinking is, this is kind of in the same area as Storybook Canals. And also, um, it's water, there's some water involved. And you can see Ariel's castle uh, and Ariel's kind of kingdom in Storybook Canals. And you know what, I'm, I'm trying hard to justify it and it's, we're just gonna do it. This is a really fun, it's a slow moving ride where you sit in a little cup. It says 30 minutes. Let's really, okay, we're gonna get pretty far in line and see, hopefully it's not 30 because that might truly be pushing it. And if we need to, we can we can justify just seeing the different castles and things as storybook. Oh, that's the line. That's definitely more than 30. I'm gonna talk to production because this isn't technically storybook now. I got approved to do my storybook canal walking tour, which we've kind of already done because up there, the beast castle. Here, another castle. L lots of lands. And then we're gonna look at Cinderella's castle one more time. And that's kind of, in a way, a tribute to Storybook Canals. And again, this is an extra. 
and we do not want to push our limits because remember what happens when we get overconfident. Then we get really stressed out at the airport, which is not always necessary. And we are doing this right before D23, and I know that we'd rather for sure make it to D23. So here we go, walking tour, and let's glimpse at her. Oh, another thing that we can see is Belle's Cottage. It's very cute, uh, Maurice's cottage really, but it's enchanted tales with Belle. Another glimpse at the Beast's Castle. And there, Cinderella Castle. So for you, Storybook Canal, we salute you, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's check on the teacups. Mad tea not open. And I, did, I never thought she would do this to me. I never thought she would be the one that like would put the challenge in danger, but it's okay because we're gonna go to the Liberty Bell River Boat and it's gonna be open because it's open time. And then Mad Tea's gonna be open. And also I got some free water. Stay hydrated, kids. There she is, the boat. We've already talked about her. You know what this is. Uh, and there's a cavalcade happening, but unfortunately we're boating, if I can make it. It looks like I can. I think they just started letting people on. Now there are seats inside, not many, and there's not air conditioning, but I'm gonna sit while we wait, and then I'm gonna kind of wander around during the ride, uh, because this is one that you can't really see most of it when you're sitting down, but if you just want a place to sit for a while, this is a great one. I told you I'm already done. Well, I would say that was, I mean, you cut away from me? No. I thought you had 87 stitches, not true. And I just was worried, what if she doesn't make it till the flight? Yeah. Not true. <laughs> but you know us, we push it close every time we and I do. thought, what if we don't we do, do that this close. time? I mean, that's fair. You did all the extras? Yes. The only thing we can't do is mad tea, which is still closed. Wanna go stare at it for like yeah. a little while? I'll, I'll give it a timer. I love staring at a clothes rack. I need some food. In the world of Disney, I would say that this is kind of what might constitute as like the walk of embarrassment. Yeah. Because guess what didn't open? Despite our hardest staring. Can I guess? Yeah. Was it the sad bee party? No. Was it the glad... I almost said tea. Was it the... Well, in a way. The glad smee party? No. Was it the rad... Um, tree party? No. Was it the mad tea party? Yes. Aww. And you know what? That's not our fault. So we can still complete the challenge yeah. because it is not open and we need to go to the airport. The only so. chance that it makes us fail the challenge is if we hit like the flight and it was still open or like two hours before the flight. Yeah. But even then we might have missed our flight. But so. technically by rules. We, we, just, we are, are now still crossing trucking. our fingers for a closed okay. mat bar. And technically, we did our three extra. So in uh, a way, you could so say we're actually ahead of schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Which is typical here. Yeah. We've and never struggled ever. One thing about Emma and I is we are overachievers. We're overachievers. And we've never almost not finished a challenge And we're lives. never stressed out or anxious about the results no. of any challenges. My heart started racing when I said that. She ordered a filet of fish Don't tell them that. That's embarrassing. It was crazy. The McDonald's worker was like, no, number seven? And, and she said, had to no, say, no, number, number six. six. She was like, no way she ordered the filet of fish Anyway, we got McDonald's, and now we're going to go eat it in the car, and then we're going to get our bags from Emma's house and go to the airport. Because we're going to Disneyland. Woo! We're not going to Disney World. No, did I say World? I thought you said Disney World. Did you say World? <laughs> I also get excited. We're to go going to Disney World. Disney World. Days. Yeah, like, in a, like four or five days. Four or five days, but we have to go to Disneyland first. And do Woo! Woo! Yeah! You just kind of did your droid impression. Woo! And we're in Emma's house. We're in my house. They've actually been here before. Yeah, they, I think they come over here more than I do, actually. Yeah, you guys, like, we have dinner on Sundays. You're busy. Not on Sunday nights. Anyway, my bag is here. Emma picked it up from my house yesterday. We're getting bags. We're getting in an Uber. We go to airport. We don't miss flight.
problems. Yes. We made it. And we have enough time to gap. Yeah, and look at this Disney, Disney store. store. Yeah, we can't really escape it. No, there's also a Universal store. There is a Universal store, which we love Universal too. And we're doing the clear thing again. Yes, so exciting. I'm gonna show you Creature TSA from a distance because it would be weird to film it up close. But we're on the B terminal of the airport. There's two terminals here. They're both kind of connected. If you go to the wrong one in your Uber, you can just walk to the other by going that way. So it's pretty easy airport to navigate from that perspective. Uh, you just want to make sure that you are checking what gate you are going to because you will have to take a little train there. And if you take a train to the wrong set of gates, you will have to take the train back and then a different little train. Um, we're headed to TSA. Now, Emma has free check. I don't. Wait, can I tell them why I have free check? Yes. Or would you rather me not? You can tell them. I got free check because someone on this team, a redhead that we might know, for I think Tokyo said, by the way, I'm getting free check. And like, I don't want to say I'm leaving you if you don't have free check, but I'm going to leave you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get free check. I have to, get, I don't want her to leave me. I don't want to leave. So I got free check. The day before we get to the airport for Tokyo, she was like, oh, by the way, I I didn't get free check. <laughs> it wasn't Tokyo. It was Disneyland. Yeah, it, it was, was a ride, it was a, it was ride, a ride challenge. challenge. Yeah. And that's why we were going to get it. And then we got here and she didn't, she did not get free check, but she at least solved it with the clear. Yes. So I have... she solved her problem, but now I still have free check and she doesn't. And I'm like, can you get away with me? And I do. <laughs> I'm not going to leave her. And you heard of clear, you know what clear is. It's that weird thing in some of the airports where you just get to skip it for unknown reasons and you pay, pay for it and you just get to skip TSA. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, that seems weird. And we all just kind of go, yeah. Happen. Anyway, clear has a thing with our, with MCO that we think is like a stipulation of clear being here is that they also have to offer this. It's called clear reserve. Mm -hmm. And all it is, is you reserve a time to go through TSA. I checked our time, we're okay. Yeah, it's, it's right now, yeah. <laughs> we reserved for it and you put in your flight and stuff and then you reserve what time you need to go through pre-check, then you literally walk up at that time, they scan the QR code that you get an email and you get to go straight. It doesn't like skip any, like you still have to take your shoes off and take everything out of your bag, but you don't have to wait in what is often a 45 minute line. Yeah. Right now it's 10 minutes, so this actually isn't saving us that much time. But it makes us feel better because we didn't, you don't know how you long never that know. line is Not at this airport. Here. And um, it literally can go down the hallways. Yeah. Hour we long. We have, I mean, our longest is probably 45 together. And if you want to see uh, how that felt for us, check it out. Our first cross country. That's the first time we ever did a cross country challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and was, it was really stressful. When we were so young we and green. And I almost threw up because I was so nervous. And I lost my ID momentarily. Yeah. So we are avoiding all of that yeah. for free, which we really love. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's the great thing about reserve. All you have to do is have a flight and you don't have to pay it for anything. You literally, you don't have to have pre-check. You just... You don't have to have clear, yeah. you just reserve a spot. And if you're running late or you're running ahead of time, you can actually change your spot day yeah. of as long as there's availability, which we've done. Yeah, so like ours is, our time is 2.15, there's 10 minute grace windows on either side, mm -hmm. and then if we needed to change it right now, we could. So yeah. it's super easy and I do really recommend it because yeah. security here can be it's horrible. Just, yeah, it's just not predictable a lot of times. We have made it to the little train, we got through security, it took us five minutes to do it's, the entire security process. Yeah. Yeah, we walked right up, um, and that will be the case when it's busy too. The longest I've ever seen the clear reserve line is like four people, four families. So highly, highly recommend that. Once you're through security at MCO, no matter which place you're going, you will take one of these little trains. They're called the APMs, I think. I don't really know what they're called, but I do know that we will get to hear from Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer saying, thank you for visiting our city beautiful. Um, <laughs> I like have it memorized. I think Thanks, I do. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna ride in this. I do recommend going down to the last car because it makes it a lot easier when you exit. You will exit on the opposite side. I like to speed run the airport. <laughs> only 10 30 our time but we're going to disneyland so it's gonna be super fun and it's fine and this challenge is gonna be a breeze what if i just passed out <laughs> as i say that yeah this challenge is gonna be a breeze hit the ground
We also didn't turn the lights on. All right, we've made it. We are here at the gates of Disneyland, which is crazy. What I pulled out of my wallet instead of my annual pass so far. Yep, okay, Fantasy Spring, not close. Not this where we're headed. This is a monorail pass, I think. Yeah, it is. Quincy does have an annual pass now to Disneyland. Very exciting it's stuff. It's a lightning machine on it. Oh, it's a paper one. Yeah, that that's stressed why me out. I was so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> that would stress it's me horrible. out. So we're gonna tap in and pretty much let's ride, I'd say. It's a magic key, actually. A magic key. You can tell I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have a magic key. It's not a magic key holder. If you want, I'll get you in the lounge. Oh, how the other half live, I'd say. <laughs> what are you doing there, champ? I'm about to go into the cinema. Oh, look at her go. This is the real cinema. Remember when we were in a store earlier watching like some ads? This is the real one. Who's that? She's from Marceline. She keeps care of the tickets. Um, and she's having some cake. Well, she's having some cake tea. and tea. It's lavender. Um, just leave her alone. <laughs> There's even people in the audience. There's multiple movies going at a time. Now, where do we play Virtual Magic Kingdom? <laughs> I, I specifically sent you a Wikipedia page. Yeah. Apparently, the Main Street Cinema and Magic Kingdom used to be a venue for playing VMK. Yeah, Virtual Magic Kingdom. If you know, you know. Yeah. Uh, not the same here, unfortunately. No. Oh, that's it? Wow, it's busy. So as you may know that Emma and I are here for D23, uh, the D23 Expo, which is the massive Disney conference that occurs every other year in Anaheim. It is kind of like think Comic-Con, but for Disney. It is also when they tend to do a lot of their major announcements. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, we've heard some exciting news. Um, and by the way, something we've not mentioned uh, is the Disneyland Railroad which I said this morning, I was like, we're gonna ride it. I forgot it's closed for refurbishment. It is closed for refurbishment. So we're not gonna ride the Disneyland Railroad. But yeah, so today is actually D23 Day here in Disneyland, which is a dedicated day uh, where D23 members and conference attendees were encouraged to come to the parks. There were some extra celebrations earlier. Now, it's nighttime now, so most of that extra stuff is done, but the crowds certainly have not dissipated. So. We are contending with a much more crowded Disneyland evening than we ever have for a ride challenge. We have a lot on the list and we have till midnight, much like Cinderella. Emma, don't lose your shoes. I don't have any. Emma! <laughs> now, our first ride is what I'm really excited about. Remember that walking tour we did earlier? We saw a site, a site. There was about three things on the list that we could see, but we connected it here to Storybook Land so and the big Storybook win for Disneyland on the OG rides. Yeah, this, this is a huge one. It used to be one. called that though. No, it used to be called the Canal Boats of the World. Wow. So a little bit different, but now it's more it's like my preference. Like I feel like a little fairy who's been shrunken down and I get to see all the mythical lands I've always wanted to live in too. I almost fell out of the boat once. That's very true as well. Because this is a freestanding boat that's gonna take you through miniatures of all of your favorite um, places and like you get to see the different castles and homes of different Disney characters. You can and will fall out of it. You can and will fall out of it. it is a, it's a real boat. It's really moving. Um, now, the line looks pretty long. In our experience, at, towards the end of the evening, it has stayed this way. Yeah. So, my gut is... Apparently, this is a cool experience if you're on during fireworks because yes. they stop the boats. Yes. And then you are just seated in a romantic fairy tale boat with 12 of your most romantic friends. Yeah. They're and strangers. acquaintances. And a cast member. Also, in my experience, this line tends to look very daunting, but they're actually really thin, and they're, it's just a very small amount of space, so it looks like a lot worse than it might actually be. We're, we're moving. We're moving. It's 8.30 on the dot, so we'll see what time it is when yeah. we get out of here. What do you think the wait time is for this? We've only been in line for 10 minutes, and we're, like, pretty close to the front. But, like, what do you think the app says? Don't look. I'm, this you, is said a guessing. you said check the app. I said I checked the app. Oh. 50 minutes? No. No. 10 minutes? No. 100 minutes? No. Like a 30 minute one. <laughs> but us being like, we can't get late for Mr. Toad because it's 25 minutes and this is 30. I wasn't listening to you when you were saying that. Hey, editor, can you leave that clip in? <laughs> that, that one. <laughs>
Utopia. We're driving cars. We're driving a car, and this time I'm not alone because Bird is here. Bird! Yo soy Bird! You okay? You seem really excited. Because it's Bird! Thank goodness I got my license this morning at the Tomorrowland Speedway. Did you? No! Oh. I don't have a license. You don't have a license? You're driving a car! Yeah, and I was earlier today, I was filming myself and driving. Is this European? Yo soy Bird! No, that's Spanish. Is this European? Yes! I'm in Italy. Ah. Yo soy? Italia. There is so much happening, but we are trying to get over to the Jungle Cruise. Hi! I am so excited. Another classic that we've already done today. But the fun thing is, is the storyline is very similar. It's that same three week cruise. Remember, cause we're here for the next six weeks of our lives. Lots of exciting stuff happening. But, okay, no, I'm making sure I don't skip anything. Skip anything? No, okay, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Gremlin hour is upon us, but we're here, three week cruise, but there are a few little differences that I just think are fun, especially if you're someone who, like me, who has the really incredible opportunity to do this uh, twice in a day, apparently, across the coast. And no wait during fireworks, which is not a surprise. Okay, we've jungled, we cruised, and then very quickly we smashed some Bengal barbecue because we've not eaten since McDonald's. We had some sun chips. Um, but we are going to head on. We're going back to Fantasyland now that fireworks and the nighttime shows are over. Fantasyland is completely opened back up. Something to be aware of, Fantasyland does close uh, right behind the castle for a period of time. You could actually find it in the My Disney Experience app in case you're not sure. So here's the thing. On our way to Fantasyland, I'm just prefacing this now. You started filming at like a really pivotal time for me. There she goes. Um, but I have not noticed, I'll say this as we're walking into that beautiful castle, I have not noticed or clocked or seen a Main Street vehicle um, since we got here. Typically, we have always ridden our Main Street vehicles at night. The one that is technically opening day is that horse-drawn uh, trolley the horse-drawn vehicle not saying it not saying a horse not to say it's not here but there is a world where they are not out tonight so hopefully that horse will pop up but we still got quite a bit to do oh uh, get in line get in line we're getting in line it says 15. yeah it's the shortest it's been since we walked in so in. don't worry everybody like i've got this yeah see Ain't no problem. Hey, Emma? No, don't even worry. This is where we're supposed to go. Oh. Yeah, to the right. To the right. To the right. Watch out! You're in the road! Hey, you said it stop. No, I'm good. To the right. To the right. Left. 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 Emma! No, we're fine. Okay. But they all said to stop. Okay, and look, we're fine. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna go to the right a little bit. Watch out for that bridge. You're in the way. Okay, okay. I don't think you should drive under that. No, uh, to the left, to the left, to the left. Dodge it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, a lot of explosives. Uh huh. Like a lot of explosives. Explosive fun. To the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. Oh, oh, Emma, Emma. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. You're so dramatic. Okay, well, this is fine. Yeah. Slow down. Watch out. That's on them. Hey, I'm getting a few beers. You want one? No, I don't get a beer. You're driving. No, I got two. 
All right. Watch out for those pies. Pretty slippery. Hey! Oh my gosh, Shaq. There's no way I'm guilty. What was that? I think you got hit by a train. What? This was not on the GPS. No, I just followed the map. Yeah, you followed the map to our death. Super warm in here. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and see, now we're back in the house. Okay. <laughs> the little place the car should be. There he is. So, I could say probably you like five, I have two black eyes. My hair is so soft. Your eyes are going different directions. Now that I've been driving really good, I'm kind of in the mood to spin in a teacup as well. So we're gonna mosey on over to what is my favorite teacups. Um, ever in the world. The ones that are actually working today. This is the mad tea party. We're gonna sit in a teacup. We're gonna spin around. I'm gonna go crazy. And we're super excited. And I just think this one's beautiful. The one in Walt Disney World has a really nice um, cover over top, kind of like a canopy, I guess. But this one is just, I think, prettier, honestly. Oh, gosh. These are so much harder to It's not good. You look cute in the lights. Well, I'm not done enough spinning. I need to wake up a little. We've not spun enough. So how about we spin, but this time on some horses that are quite lovely. This morning, Drizella and Anastasia were riding the horses. And it was very exciting. Really? That's cool. Yeah, they were really having a good time. This is a very noble steed. I want this one. Come on, Mom! What? I want the big horse. Is this how you feel all the time? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Is this how you feel all the time? Yes. Ha ha ha! I think it's time to be a little bit more relaxed, and I'd say not even scared because we're gonna go on Snow White's Enchanted Wish. This used to be Snow White's Scary Adventures. Oh, check it out. The Evil Queen is up there. Um, and they recently nice. rethemed it in the last few years, so now it's her Enchanted Wish, and it's very nice and very lovely and not scary, although there is still the dungeon scene. So we're gonna save ourselves some little I steps because we've had a lot of steps. Year. Really? Yeah. It is very much the same. You told me about it, and then I saw your video, and I was like, "There's differences here." There, yeah. I mean, there are some. I'm calling out every difference. Okay. I'm gonna say that was two inches apart in Disney World. Did you ride with me in Tokyo? That was the one that I was like, "What?" what? I don't think I rode with you. In I don't Tokyo. think you did. We got to ride Peter Pan's Neverland. Adventure. adventure. This is the flight. Yeah. That's his adventure. Yes. Which is the brand new ride, which is over in Tokyo Disney Sea in yes. Fantasy Springs. Um, but this one is the classic. I think it is very similar to Disney World. There are differences, but really, if you've done Disney World, I don't think this one is necessarily a must-do. vehicle out but in our defense there wasn't one out when we got here I don't know if we've failed or succeeded on this challenge we've easily succeeded and do you know why because we're replacing it with what I think should have been an, an opening, opening day, day attraction. attraction and if you know anything about us we're ending with our favorite thing in the world Jolly Holiday Are you sitting yeah okay, 
guess. Midnight, we can't, we can't, eat, a we can't eat a whole Sammy. <laughs> this is it, our perfect, perfect end. An Emma Quincy tradition. It's on a little bit of fuzz. Okay, I'll, I think I'll tear it. <laughs> tearing a part. Oh, you're tearing. You get the big half. Good. You get the big half. I don't want the big half. <laughs> can I this dip into it. soup? I have a bit. Yeah, you, we can dip in soup together. We do this every time we're in Disneyland together on our first day. Cheers. And welcome home. Cheers. <laughs> I think we succeeded. Great time. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch our D23 coverage to see what all those new, exciting news things that you already know about that we don't know. We'll see you over there. See you there. Mm. I got a chimney sweep cold brew. That's for tomorrow. I mean, it's tomorrow, but I just want them to know. Oh.